Hello. With just a few days left until Necromunda Underhive hits release date, it felt like a good time to sort of summarize uh, what we can expect from this. Uh, whether you've played the uh, tabletop version back way back when, or more recent, uh, or maybe you're coming from more time, or you just saw the ads, thought it looked good. Just figured I'd give a quick summary uh, so you can kind of see what it looks like the game is going to play like and what you might be expecting once you get in there. First up, let's start with the gangs. Uh, there are three to pick from initially. Uh, hopefully we'd expect more coming because uh, in the original box there's obviously the six house gangs plus additional ones. But we are starting with Orlox, Goliath and Escher. Uh, the way it's always been in the past is Orlocks are kind of a bit of a hybrid gang, maybe leaning somewhat into the shooting. Escher are more of a combat gang, um, focused on getting in and beating people up. They're an all-female gang, so that does set them apart from the others. Although it looks like in this game, you can actually choose genders a bit more on the other gangs too. So that'll be a little change up from this sort of traditional board game. Uh, and then Goliaths are your real uh, meaty bodybuilder type gang, so they're definitely going to focus on getting in there as well. So to get into the way the game is going to work in general, it looks like they've got three main modes going right now. First up, uh, and it looks like perhaps the learning section of the game, is going to be the story-based campaign mode, and it looks like there's a series of missions focused around pre-generated characters, uh, from what I can tell anyway. Uh, and it should be a lot of cinematics involved, um, a much more kind of, you know, following a story, maybe a bit more of a sort of film feel. So it may vary a little bit from what we'd expect from the other modes, but it's probably where most people are going to start at least. Second up, you've got the operations mode is what they're calling it. That seems to be where you create your own gang and just play like an ongoing campaign, mostly against the computer, although it sounds like you may be able to take this gang that you make here and fight against other uh, people in multiplayer as well. This one looks like where you're going to get your true uh, creativity going on your gang. Uh, third up is multiplayer. Uh, I don't know exactly how this is going to work, although they've kind of given hints. It looks like you can take the gang you've probably made in operations mode and fight against other people online. They did also hint at a possible skirmish mode where you create a, a whole new gang um, and you can kind of fight them off uh, either against the AI as a team or you can fight in multiplayer. Uh, this is probably the most exciting possibility for playing against uh, other random people on the net because it looks like you should be able to just kind of hopefully group up uh, with somebody and say hey let's play this many points for example and you quickly create your gangs and then you just jump into one of the maps and start playing. So I think for kind of longevity, it's good to have a mode like this because uh, using your operations based gang is going to feel a little worrying for some people. I know for me, going back to playing more time, I was always worried to try and play multiplayer because you had to use your warband that you had been creating for all this time and putting lots of resources into. And what if they get, you know, completely destroyed? Um, so this sounds like a good possibility to avoid that but still be able to get that kind of multiplayer fix in which should keep the game kind of playing for a lot longer. When you go to create a gang, it looks like you start with 5 but you have the possibility for maybe up to 15 extra gang members but you'll only ever drop 5 into a mission so I guess those others will be reserves and you can kind of chop and choose what suits the mission. Seems like there's going to be more gang types than you saw perhaps in the board game where you just had basically leaders, heavy, uh, ganger, and juves. It seems like there's some more tactical roles in this, so that could be kind of fun. We'll have to see exactly how those work in the game, but they could have some fun implications for not just running and shooting. Uh, as you can see, it looks like everything is very customizable, which is a nice upgrade from more time. Uh, looks like you can really fine-tune your gangers, you know, gender, color, patterns. There's a lot from the looks of this. It also looks like there is a lot of customization uh, within the actual gangers' stats and builds. Obviously there's going to be a lot of guns available, but it also looks like there may be a lot of choice in terms of your skills right from the start. You can maybe put more experience into gangers right from the get-go and kind of hone them right from the start uh, to kind of focus in a certain direction, uh, as well as um, 
what they call talents, virtues, and vices, which sound like fun little additions to really kind of bring some personality into them so that they make them a bit more memorable. As it looks like operations may be the most popular mode, uh, it seems like when you start that, obviously we talked about building your gang, it looks like then you choose a sector um, and you can choose that depending on how many other gangs are in the area and also uh, how many resources there might be and I'm sure it'll be a bit harder if there's more gangs in there but maybe there's more potential for you. And it looks like you choose a certain facility to base yourself in and that will also influence you know how your loot drops come and stuff like that. So. It's hard to tell exactly how that's going to run yet, but it does seem like you kind of hone in on a certain area. Uh, from there, you will select missions, which does feel a lot like more time if you've played that. You'll have like a few options. Uh, the slight difference is sometimes there may not even be another gang in the area, so you can just go in, grab the loot, head out, get some experience for free. Uh, but there may often be a gang there, in which case you go into a gang fight. So that's pretty much what we've seen from the game so far. Um, there's obviously a lot more that you could dissect by watching the footage that they've released now. They've put out a lot more game footage now over the last few days. You can kind of go into and you could potentially like pause it and look at what's going on on the screen. Uh, there's a lot of fun stuff. Looks like you can do aimed shots and aim for certain parts of the body. Obviously injuries and death are... A, going to be a big part of your game development. As per as per more time, it seems like there's a lot that they've really pulled from more time uh, and put into this, but hopefully they've ironed out some of the kinks uh, that made that a sort of a long-term struggle to keep going with. This is just a quick summary in case you're thinking of picking it up. Maybe this is enough to encourage you to at least give it a look in and see. If you are curious about seeing a bit of gameplay before you actually pick it up yourself, I will be streaming it on my Twitch channel, which is going to be Siberius Wolf again, um, and then uploading videos from that onto YouTube. So please feel free to come and join me. You can watch on either one of those. I'm going to go heavy into it one way or the other. And uh, if you come join me on Twitch, you can obviously discuss things as we're going through and ask questions that I'm finding out for you. So yeah, please come join. Thanks for watching the video. If you did enjoy it, Feel free to subscribe because I'm going to have a lot more coming on this game. Uh, hopefully some tips and tricks once I got playing on it a bit more. And definitely a lot of gameplay. So we'll see you soon. Thanks. Bye bye.